so uh, hi everyone and uh, in my previous lecture we have covered our uh, half subtractor and full subtractor in this lecture we are going to see the code converters a code converter is the one how we are going to implement the other circuit using this one means the one code to other code how to use a circuit and how to design the circuit we are going to see here so there are different types of uh, such code converters like binary code or decimal xs3 gray code and many more and many times it is required to convert one code to other code so in our digital electronics whenever i want to convert a code from one to the other this kind of code converters are used so here we have few steps which we are going to follow to design a code converter circuit the first one step what we have is write the truth table showing the relationship between the input and output codes so when ever i want to convert one code to other code let us take the b series to xs or gray code to b series or uh, like xs3 to gray code so we are going to first derive the truth table for that one next for each output code determine the simplified boolean expression using a k map and third step realize the code converter using the log logic gates so what i'm doing here first deriving the truth table then afterwards uh, getting the boolean expression in the simplified format using the outputs thereafter we are implementing using your uh, code converter using your logic gates so i uh, will proceed with the two examples uh, see we'll see how to design a code converter now here i have one example like design a combination circuit that generates a ninth complement of bcd so what exactly this uh, generation of ninth complement of bcd means now my circuit whatever i am going to design that circuit uh, when i give the input as bcd it should give the output as your ninth complement so first what is your uh, 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 what is your uh, inputs and outputs means uh, you have the inputs as your bcd and i want my output as ninth complement of the bcd so once you have identified the inputs and outputs second step i need to go with the truth table so here the bcd code is my input so bcd is nothing but expressing each and every digit of the given number in 4 bit binary so here i am going to take 0 to 9 whatever it is so 0 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Why you are not taking uh, the nine? That means. Okay, here even we can take a nine also. So here the last column, whatever I have here, simply I'm striking this one. I'm writing the last column one double zero. One is my last column, whichever I have. Now, what is my intention is when a BCD is given, I want to convert to the nines complement means. whatever the 0000 it's ninth complement i need to get it my x y x y w x y z so zeros ninth complement is nothing but subtracting each and every digit from 9 so 9 minus 0 is always a 9 9 minus 1 is always 8 9 minus 2 is 7 next 9 minus 3 is 6 next 9 minus 4 is a 5 9 minus 5 is a 4 next 9 minus 6 is 3 and 9 minus 7 is 2 here 9 minus 8 is 1 and 9 minus 9 is all a zeros so after generating the truth table like this uh, what i need to do is now i need to simplify the outputs w x y and z using your k maps so now let us proceed simplification of the output using k maps so what i do here is 
uh, uh, we will see the first one let us take the w so i am simplification i am doing for w so as the inputs are four variables i am taking a b c d here so what is w it is having a zero for zero it is having a one so i am writing zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero all right for w in the first i have one means so i need to write in the one zero 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 there i am expressing one next one i have at one so zero 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 one i have a one next in this column i don't have any ones so and what more zero to nine it is okay so after nine eight nine here ten sorry ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen are not defined so whether the output whatever we are having whether uh, as the outputs are not defined for your uh, 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 we are representing with a don't care entries now after simplification if you see this one i can group only these two so my output whatever i have for my w is that is a bar a bar b bar and uh, c bar so i have a bar b bar c bar so this is how i am expressing my w next coming to the next one a b c d this is for my x so this is for my x output so what i am doing here again simplifying now for x i have the ones here this one represents 1 uh, 0 0 1 0 that means 2 0 1 2 here next one and this column for 3 it is 1 next column for 4 also it is 1 next column and 5 also it is 1 so i have four ones here no other ones in this particular column and what more i have is the don't care entries which are not defined that is uh, 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 now what is my intention is now grouping here so i can group these four here and now i can group these two here so if i group these two whatever the output i am getting here is that is zero changing to one a is eliminated that is b bar and next here it is c and for these four uh, terms if i see here now a is eliminated that is b and uh, c bar so my x is equals to b bar c plus b that is b uh, b c bar now let us proceed to the third column that is y so now for y i am doing the y column so for y column a b c d 0 0 0 1 1 1 the greek word now for y column if you see i have 1 2 3 4 terms i have so what is that first term this is related to 2 2 next related to 3 next here it is 6 4 5 6 so 6 is completed next 7 4 5 6 7 next i have the don't care entries which i have to mark now so here i can group all these eight so when i group eight terms so three variables need to be eliminated so i will be left wing or with a single variable so a and b is all mail or automatically eliminated and you have only c here why because d is eliminated as it is changing from 1 to 0 now this is y is equals to c and fourth one what i have is a b c d so i need to simplify using the k maps all right now z is 0 i have a 1 next for 2 0 1 2 i have a 1 next for 4 i have a 1 next i have a 1 for 
5, 6, I have a 1. Next, I have a 1 for 8. So here 8, I have a 1. So total 5 ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ones. So the remaining are don't care entries which are not defined, I am marking there. So now I can group these 4 and these 4 together so that I will be getting the output as a single variable. So that is A and B will be eliminated and C is changing from 0 to 1 and D is so here it is simply a D bar. So now I got all the four equations which are there in your simplified format that is W is equals to A bar, B bar, C bar plus not uh, plus that is W next Y is equals to C and X is equals to B bar C plus B C bar and your last term that is Z is equals to what I have is D bar. So if I implement this one using your logic circuit then what I have here is simply I will be drawing the logic circuit once I know the uh, methods once I know the method how to draw the logic circuit uh, once I getting the simplified expression it is very easy I am taking four uh, inputs uh, sorry three inputs A B and C sorry D also four inputs as I have mentioned uh, in this I have four inputs so the outputs I am uh, expressing in terms of your boolean expressions now drawing the lines that is logic circuitry B next C and D right now according to my uh, previous expressions as I know W is nothing but A bar B bar C bar so what I do here is simply I will mark A bar B bar and a C bar I will give it to an AND gate so this is my W that is W next W next I have an X so X is nothing but B bar C plus B C bar simply I can give B and C as it is nothing but an XOR gate so I am simply uh, representing with an XOR gate that is B bar C plus B C bar is nothing but your XOR gate so this is X next Y that is directly given with a C line so this is your Y so next and Z is D bar simply I am giving a line from your Z that means now in this circuit in this circuit when I give the input A is equals to 0, B is equals to 0, C is equals to 0 and D is equals to 0, I need to get the output as 1, 0, 0, 1. That is what we are showing in our truth table that 0, 0, 0, 0 is given as input. I need to get W is equals to 1, X 0, Y 0 and Z 1. So let us proceed with that one. Now when A is given 0, its complement here it is 1, B is given its complement it is 1 and C0 means its complement is 1 so 1 into 1 into 1 so the W value is 1 next coming to this one XOR gate that is B C bar plus B bar C now B value is a 0 C bar C value is 0 means C bar is 1 plus B value is 0 means B bar is 1 into C is 0 that is you are getting an output as 0 here likewise y is connected to c so this value is 0 and your z is connected to d bar so this value is 1 so I am getting 1 0 0 1 that means when the input is 0 0 0 0 the output is 1 0 0 1 that's what I am showing when the input is 0 0 0 0 the output is 1 0 0 1 likewise all the values whatever the values you are giving for your a b c d in your truth table the same output you are going to get so this circuit works as a ninth complement of your bcd the circuit is going to work as a ninth complement of your bcd now let us design one more example of your code converter 
that is nothing but 8421 BCD to XS3. So 8421 BCD to XS3 is nothing but uh, converting the given 4 bit code to XS3 code. That means expressing each and every code in 4 bit binary. In 4 bit binary. So how we are going to uh, see that one means now I have um, uh, in the step 1 I need to identify uh, 8421 BCD means I have inputs 4 which are nothing but your A, B, C, D and output I have 4 codes which I am taking as E3, E2, E1 and E0. Now the 8421 code I am writing as I have shown in the decimal number 0 to 9 what are the codes I have I will be writing here for 0 it is 4 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay now as i said that when my circuit is given with 8421 bcd code that is bcd code it should generate the output as xs3 that means when zero is given my output xs3 means adding binary 3 to the given input so my output should be here it's 3 for 1 it should be a 4 for 2 it should be a 5 for 3 it is 6 for 4 it is 7 for 5 it is 8 for 6 it is a 9 for 7 again it is 10 1 0 1 0 for 8 it is 11 that is 1 0 1 1 for 9 it is again 9 plus 3 that is 12 so here I have 1 1 double 0 what about the remaining num uh, numbers like 10 to 15 as we have not defined we are going to take the don't care entries into that particular slots so now step 2 whatever I have is now I need to simplify them using your K map so first I am taking E3 so A B C D 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 all right so now taking E3 so I have from 5 6 7 8 and 9 I have ones so for 5 6 7 and 8 I have ones after 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 I don't care entries so I can simplify them using uh, this one like uh, what I do here is simply I will group these four if I group these four what is the result and I am going to get 0 changing to 1 so A is eliminated so it is B and here it is C again I can group these 4 if I group these 4 I am going to get again B and here it is D and next I can group these 2 or these 2 anything is possible so what I do here is for E3 uh, there is a possibility of sorry that is 8 9 is also there so 9 sorry here the 9 is also present so like 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 okay now even I can group uh, these 8 together so what I am going to get here is simply a a so finally what I have here is that is I am going to define the equation for E3 in terms of your A, B, C, D. So I am writing here as your E3 is equals to A plus A plus next B, D plus B, C. Now the same way I am going to do it for your E2 so E2 
Now for E2, if you take, we have in the column called as 1, so 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 I have in next 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. After 4, it is directly in the 7. So 7 means 0, triple 1, that is 0, 1, 1. So 7. So remaining these are don't care entries as we have not defined them. So we are marking them with the don't care entries for your E2. So what I have here right now is like uh, I can group uh, let us see 8 and 9 is not there. So what I can group here is like grouping. Okay, I can group these four. I can group these four or simply uh, let us see. Now uh, we will group these four or these four. So if I group these four, this is covered. Let us take this four is one group. Now I have this as CD. Next, if I want to group uh, uh, these four, I have one more term that is zero changing to one and that is B bar and here it is uh, C and uh, now I am left over with these two. So this can be A bar, B bar and uh, we have a D and uh, these two if I group them what is the term I am going to get here is here A is eliminated B, C bar, D bar. So E2 is equals to B bar sorry B B this is not the B C bar D bar plus B bar C plus A bar B bar D plus C D okay so these are the terms whatever I am going to get totally I got a four terms but if we have any further possibility of simplification that we need to do only here itself okay so four uh, this is the possibility whatever I have now let us proceed uh, to the third column that is E1 alright now for E1 in 0 I have a 1 next in 3 0 1 2 3 I have a 1 next 4 I have a 1 next I have 1 in your 7 and 8 so 7 is here 8 is here and uh, uh, the undefined terms we are marking with the don't care entries so maximum I have these 4 is one grouping that which we are calling it as your C bar D bar and here this is your CD ok so now the expression what we have for your E1 so that is E1 is equals to CD plus C bar D bar that is 1 next for E0 so I am taking AB CD for E0 no that is 0 again it's 1 for 2 you have 1 0 1 2 I have a 1 next for 4 I have a 1 next after 4 I have 6 4 5 6 I have a 1 next 8 I have a 1 so this is your 8 remaining undefined we are marking with your don't care entries so I can group uh, these four and these four together as eight grouping so I'll be getting the answer when I group eight terms I'll be getting it as simplified term uh, that is A and B will be getting eliminated and C is eliminated and you are going to get it as D bar itself so I got the four equations which are there in your simplified format so now my intention is to draw the circuit simply taking A B C and D are my inputs
now b c next i have one more column that is d okay now first e3 is e3 is whatever i have for e3 is a plus bd plus bc a plus bd so a i have one now a plus bd b and d i am using one and get and bc so b and c i am using one and get so if i give this three to one or get i am going to get my e3 okay now let us see let us see what happens for the next e1 e2 so it is uh, e2 it is somewhat complex and i have uh, the space is not going to sufficient uh, so uh, we will be drawing this one at the last so let us take e1 e1 or e2 we can draw it here so i am leaving uh, some space so here we will be getting e2 so it is as it is somewhat complex uh, so the space is not sufficient i am not able to draw that one next e1 if you see the e1 e1 here that is e1 is cd plus c bar d bar so i can use x nor gate directly so that is c and d if i use x nor gate i'm getting e1 next one for e not uh, simply i can take d bar so this is your e not so for e2 as it is containing four terms i'm not able to draw but when i give the input as your bct code when i draw the e2 also i'll be getting an xs3 uh, as we have given here 0 0 0 and 0 you'll be getting here 0 0 1 and 1 as my output for the given circuits so thank you for watching this video uh, for more videos please subscribe to my channel